Hello, I'm Alex Ramsey, host of Night with the Batman, and I'm here with film number, fan film number three of my Five Days of Night event. This one's called Batman Dead End. It was made in 2003. Okay, so this one is arguably one of the most well-known out of all of the fan films, this one's gotten the most reception. It was made by Sandy Calera, I think, and um, and it was just one of the big ones. It had a budget of about, I think it's thirty thirty thousand, which is a huge budget for just a fan film, and it shows with uh, um, with the sets. And just the design in general looks really good. When I was talking earlier about costumes and stuff, this one has really well thought out and really good looking costumes. Some of the shots look like panel shots, which is really cool. And um, I'll get more to just like the costume aspects and what I like about them and the pros. Um, this was this fan film. Has, is different from other ones, and that's sort of like a mashup sort of thing, where it's not just Batman and the Joker or the DC characters, it's um, characters from other franchises. It features Alien and Predator in it, and it was inspired by Dark Horse comic books, um, which had two series. One was Batman Aliens, and the other one was Batman vs. Predator, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, this one's kind of short. It's only eight minutes long. And it first premiered at the San Diego Comic-Con. Um, I'll just, I'll just go, um, straight to what the rest of the info on it. The, he did one after this called World's Finest, which was a short trailer. And it had Batman and Superman. And um, basically, they're fighting Lex Luthor and Two Face in the trailer. That that one was pretty good too, but I won't be reviewing that one. Um, just because of its length, it's just a trailer. I don't usually review trailers unless there's a, a certain aspect of it I think I can touch on. Um, back to this fan film. This was also originally designed as just like a an acting reel sort of thing just to get studios interested in this director and um, it succeeded. So, now that you guys know that, I'll um, just start with the general um, summary. Okay, so it opens up with um, a, a news reporter talking and Bruce Wayne putting on the Batman outfit, the Joker has escaped Arkham, and I, I talked about how, and the other one, I don't really like that, but that's not real, and this, it's, that's the only really cliche in this, the, the rest is pretty original, and it's short too, so it's not as noticeable, um, so, he goes out and finds the Joker, they exchange some dialogue about, um, about them making each other about... Well, I thought this was interesting. Joker being Batman's son, the sort of, like, you created me thing that was sort of touched on in Tim Burton's movie, but not that far to that effect. Um, and then after that, Batman's about to take him back to Arkham, and he gets picked up by one of the aliens. The Predator kills the alien and Batman and the Predator fight, and then he discovers that there's not just one, there's a whole bunch of them. They surround him, and it ends on that note. Now, like I said before, this one's short, and I think ideally, um, fan films should be short. That's just that's just sort of me. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, super short, like four minutes or something like that, but you don't want to, I, I doubt the average viewer is just going to sit for two hours unless there's something interesting. A lot of a lot of fan films tend to have very long lengths of time, and I can understand that if you're making an interesting story, but sometimes it's just it feels dragged down and you're 
sort of wondering when it's going to end and when it's going to get back to the interesting parts, which th- that could be like a weakness of some fan films of just drawing it out because it's a fan film. It's not, um, I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a fan film. It's made by fans. Sometimes it can drag out. And some of these writers, me included, sometimes I, I uh, with this relating to me with the Crusader series, is that sometimes they can drag out a little bit because some writers that make these haven't fully learned the craft of just, like, cutting it down and making it flow more, which isn't really their fault. It's not really my fault either. It's just sort of a thing you learn, which is why it's ideal to have these be shorter. Um, yeah, so... Like I said earlier, they had a big budget, and it really shows with the costumes, just like in the previous one. Um, I guess I'll go to the pros now. Okay, pros. I like the bat suit. The bat suit's awesome. Um, this was, like, basically one of the first to be that detailed and that good looking. It looks like if you've ever seen any of Alex Ross's paintings of what... What how he draws Batman? It's basically like it's a real um, in the paintings. It's basically like it looks like a real person, except with the latex and the and all that stuff on, and it, it looks good. And like I said earlier, I like how they made the eyes um, white, like in the comic books. I thought that was a cool touch. And the guy that that's in the costume, he's big and muscular. He fits the build. He looks like Batman would look. And also just acts like them. I like how in certain parts of this they have music from different sources, different Batman-related things. One of the ones I picked up on immediately was that they used the Mask of the Fan- Phantasm theme and part of it when he lands. And this is one of my favorite parts. He stands up and like he's surrounded by this huge puddle. He stands up and his cape sort of just moves with him, sort of like his shadow moves through the darkness. It's really cool. And, um, yeah, I just like the overall costume design. This one, obviously, is not that fo- focused on plot, and it's more focused on just the action, which I like, too. I like when movies are like that. I like when they don't drag, especially a subject like this. I don't think that they could realistically and believably tell a, a serious story or, like, a in-depth, like, emotional story with this. I'm glad they just kept it the way it was. It's just like a straight up short action film and it worked to its advantage. Um, Yeah, I like how they also pulled music from Tim Burton's movies too in certain scenes. I thought the mashup of the different music made it feel much more like a Batman film. I like that. Um, The design on the on um, the Predator suits and also the aliens looked almost like movie quality. It looked like that the studios, and I think that maybe the studios that made that, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, might have made those suits because they look really good. Um, they use camera tricks and other stuff like that to make scenes look more realistic and make them look less fake, which I think is cool. And I think also with a limited budget, it, and this is limited compared to Hollywood, that they would have to pull tricks to make it look better than it is, more believable. I like that they do stuff like this. And I think this director clearly has promise. I've seen other stuff by him, and they're really good. I can tell that he has, like, a heart for for Batman, that he knows what he's doing when he does stuff like that. The Batman suit looks great. I like Joker, too, in this. I like... um, even the crazy eyebrows they had on it, I dig those. I, I liked his just overall design. The actor that played him, I enjoyed too. He was, I liked his laugh. He um, he had those manic moments like the Joker would have, and then those serious moments like the Joker would have. It was a mix, like it should be. Um, I like that he was in a straight jacket too. We don't. We, that's like the Joker's second, like costume if he's not wearing the normal purple outfit he's wearing that. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, I liked how the amb- the ending was just sort of ambiguous, how it just sort of ended there and it didn't show the result of that. I thought that was really cool. It was sort of like in comics how they do the to be continued and I thought how it just 
just left on a cliffhanger was awesome. Um, even if it didn't continue, it was still cool. Um, yeah, just everything about this movie, it's, it's really good for, for what they have. It looks amazing. And, um, the costumes look great, too. And I can't find any cons with this. It was so short that, that really all it showed was good, and I couldn't really find that much bad in it. The, I mean, it is what it is, basically. It's a, it's a quick action short film with Batman in it, and it, and it succeeds at being that, so there's not really much to complain about. Um, I guess if I were to rate this on a scale of 1 to 5, I would rate it at a 4. This film doesn't drag. It's very short and to the point, and I like the action, costume design, and just the overall mood and theme of it. I think it's really cool, and you guys should definitely, if you haven't already, check it out. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys comment, like, subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the support you've been giving me, and you guys have a great day. Um, the next one I'll have up should be up in pretty soon. I'm sorry about how this one's taken a while to get up. I had a uh, work over the weekend and and um that and I had to work nights. So usually I do these at night or during the late afternoon and it just didn't work out that I could do it this weekend. But I'll make sure to have it up for you the next one up for you guys pretty soon. All right, you guys have a great day and uh I guess I'll see you around. Bye.